This is What You're Reading with Sharon Stone. My favorite book is written by the author Paulo Coelho, who you may know from The Alchemist. But this is a book called The Warrior of Light. And I like it because it has a different excerpt on each page. And you can read it straight through or you can just open it at any page. And I often sort of, I feel like every day I have a new question, a person who has a new question about life. And so I often just hold it and have that question and then I open it randomly. And I feel like I always get some guidance towards whatever question I have that day. And it really, it's very beautiful, beautiful book. A book that I like to read to my kids. I have three boys and I just always had been very enchanted by the Arthurian tales. And I thought that the right Knights of the Round Table were so interesting and that they were like kind of a great book about the wonder of who we could be, the way we could be brave, the way we could be gallant, the way we could have ma magic, uh, the way we could imagine these things as actual possessable things, the way that glamour was something that you wore like a cape. It was something that you wore as an attitude, not something that you had to change by applying something to yourself. It was an attitude. And I like that the book told you that things like chivalry and doing the right things were internal choices, not choices that others made for you and things that were done to you. So I always liked those tales and I read those to my kids a lot and I also made up all these stories that I told them about leaving the castle and fighting polka dot and striped dinosaurs and going through this forest where they would have to pack their bags to go fight these polka dot or striped dinosaurs and they could pick things off of trees, whatever they thought they needed in their bags oranges or sandwiches or, you know, sodas or whatever they thought they needed to go fight dragons. And I would have them help me pick what they needed in their bags. And so it was a little bit of a ritual, that sort of idea. A line from a book that sticks with me was a line, uh, and I'm not sure I have it just right, but I, the way I remember it was from the opening line from this book, Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. I was very impressed with his eyes were like the windows of a long black limousine. He could see out, but you couldn't see in. I always thought that was just very, very interesting because I think that there are people like that. And I thought that was a very daunting way to start a book. Like, oh, this person is coming in and they, they perpetuate that kind of feeling of both intrigue and a little bit of, you know, denial of what's inside. And it could be something exciting or it could be something awful. A book that made me fall in love with reading is by the writer that makes me fall in love with reading over and over again, which is Joan Didion. Because Joan Didion is to me one of the most frank, honest, writers. She wrote The Year of Magical Thinking, which was just a beautiful, devastating invitation into her life in a very difficult and tragic period. And the book is written with such profound human poetic elegance that it remains for me, one of my favorite books I've ever written. And she is, for me, one of my most influential writers. A book that I want people to think I've read but haven't actually read is this Berthold Breck book of poetry. And I'm always trying to read pieces of it at a time, but you know, it's that. So it's, I haven't really read the whole thing, but I like people to think I read it because my God, Berthold Brecht, Beautiful playwright, essays, poetry, but come on. He's kind of, you know, he's a big writer. The books are heavy. <laughs> a book that I've written, the most recent book that I have written, 
is the beauty of living twice. I don't know if you can see it here, but I wrote this book and it's a memoir. And it's a very specific memoir because I asked myself a question about a place I ended up in in my life that I wasn't too happy about. And I dug deep into my life and figured out a lot about myself. And I realized that my life is not so dissimilar to many of yours, except maybe mine has a bigger window at my job. Um, and I hope that my book will be hopefully in some way transformative for you because it certainly was for me when I wrote it. It changed my life completely and helped me tremendously to get it on the page. And I hope that it brings you some comfort when you read it and a few laughs. Uh, so thank you. This has been What You're Reading with Sharon Stone.